Welcome to the video, today I'm going to show you how I can cap your FPS in any game. And I just want to say now that this will only work with Nvidia GPUs, so if you do have an AMD GPU, this video is not for you. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is make sure our drivers are up to date. And to do this, you want to go to the bottom right -hand corner, and you want to right click on your Nvidia icon and click on GeForce Experience. If you can't find this, you can always search it. So, once GeForce Experience loads up, you just want to click on Drivers in the top left hand corner. Then you want to click on Check for Updates and make sure that you've installed the latest drivers. So, now your drivers are up to date, which is a good thing, we now need to go ahead and cap our FPS. And to do this, you want to right click on your desktop and click on NVIDIA Control Panel. This will take a second to load up. So, once it's loaded up, it may look something like this. And what we want to do is go to the Manage 3D Settings tab and it should look like this. Now there's two options that we've got. We've got the global settings tab here and if we change any settings under this tab it will basically apply these settings to every game or we can apply settings to an individual game by going to the program settings tab then just underneath this drop down box you want to select a game you want to change the settings for. So once you're on this menu you want to scroll halfway down and you should see an option called max frame rate. It should be off by default and what we want to do is click on the drop down box make sure it's selected to on and you want to cap your fps anywhere between 40 and 240 fps now i always recommend capping your fps just a couple frames below your monitor's refresh rate so if you've got a 60 hertz monitor refresh rate which most people have you want to cap it to about 58 fps however if you've got 144 hertz monitor refresh rate then you want to cap it to about 142 fps the reason why we do this is because very rarely that FPS might jump a couple frames above what you've capped it at and that could cause all sorts of problems like screen tearing. But once you've done this you want to select OK. Then you want to click on apply and just bear in mind that this setting that you've just changed will override any in-game settings. So if you notice that your frame rate limiter in-game is not working, well this is the reason why. And that is all you need to do to cap your FPS for any game. So if this video is helpful, please leave a like and pass on someone who may find it helpful as well. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and have a good day.